The Yalmain and welcome to the FrickCast. Today we'll be explaining the correct terminology for natural soap. We'll start simple and work our way to the more complicated terms. Brick. Brick, sometimes spelled with a K, is the scientific term for a bar of soap. It derives its name from the shape. Pretty straightforward, it simply refers to the soap bar itself. Stick. In the same vein, stick or stick refers to a deodorant. Dio is also an appropriate abbreviation. Flavor. One of the more misunderstood terms is flavor. I often get comments asking why I call what should be scent flavor instead, and that is because they do not refer to the same thing. To start, flavor refers to an entire group of products in a more general sense. For example, the Fresh Falls flavor includes the brick, the Dio, the hair kit, face wash, lotion, and candle. Anything under the Fresh Falls label is a part of the flavor. Now this also includes aspects such as scent or other properties that carry over between the products. Scent. Of course, scent just refers to the scent, the smell of the products. To illustrate the difference, imagine a bar of pine tar. The scent of the brick may be described as pine, but when one uses the term scent, it is only referring to the smell. It is not the proper term when also referring to things such as the heavy grit, the unique ingredients, the black appearance, aspects you would find throughout the lineup of pine tar products. For that, we would use flavor. For example, here are some sentences. When referring to the smell or fragrance, I really enjoy smelling the pina colada scent of the coconut castaway. This is broad, but could refer to the smell of the brick, Dio, etc., or even the entire flavor. When referring to a bar of soap, I really enjoy using the pina colada scent, the milky lather, and deep clean of the coconut castaway brick. When referring to a flavor, I really enjoy the pina colada scent, the moisturizing qualities, and relaxing feel of the coconut castaway flavor. Potency. Some additional terms you've likely heard. Potency refers to the strength of the scent. How powerful is the fragrance? Can you smell it as soon as you open the mailbox? Well, that would be a strong potency. Do you have to basically shove the bar up your nose to smell anything? That would be a weak-ass potency. Grit. Grit refers to the amount of exfoliants in a product, most commonly a brick. The grit is what gives the bar its exfoliation. This can range from zero to heavy. It is often seen in forms such as pumice, sand, seeds, and oatmeal. The higher or heavier the grit, the rougher the brick. Simple enough. Lather. Lather is another straightforward one. How much does the bar bubble up? How thick is it? Is it creamy or silky? How do the suds spread? Line up. Lineup is one of the more broad terms you'll find, and can really just refer to any group of two or more products that share a common theme or aspect. Although there are generally better words to use, one could say things such as a lineup of Halloween products, lineup of holiday bars in general, a lineup of galaxy bars, or even an entire flavor, like the lineup of Fresh Falls products. It is perhaps best used though when referring to a group of the same products, such as the lineup of face washes, or the lineup of deodorants, etc. OGs. Now OGs refers to the lineup of a particular group of products that are available year-round and never go away. This can refer to any mainstays of any lineup of products. Hair kits, deodorants, all have OGs, but it's most commonly used when referring to the soap bars. For example, the OGs for Dr. Squatch include all of the bars that are always available. Pine Tar, Bay Rum, Fresh Falls, etc. It should also be noted that OG status often carries through to the entire flavor. Pine Tar is an OG bar, Dio, and hair kit for example. Now, one common misconception about the term OGs is that it only means original products, the oldest ones offered. That is not the case. The Rainforest Rapids is one of Dr. Squatch's newest releases, being only out for a few months, yet it is still technically an OG because it is a part of the mainstay lineup. However, the Cedar Citrus, one of Squatch's earliest flavors and bars, is no longer considered an OG because it has been discontinued. Limiteds. The proper term for Cedar Citrus would now be a Limited. Limiteds are the opposite of OGs. These are the products that are either seasonal, discontinued, or something along those lines. They are not available year-round, even if they do drop every year around the same time, such as the Halloween bars. These are simply only available for a limited time. Collection. Speaking of Halloween bars, the term to use for the lineup of spooky bricks would be collection. 
Now, collection is another fluid word. You could be referring to the collection of Christmas bars. You could be referring to the entire lineup of Christmas offerings. Now, offerings refers to all the products that fall into a particular niche category. Halloween products, Christmas products, woodsy scented products, etc. For example, one would say something like a company's Halloween offerings, their fruity or sweet offerings, their manliest offerings. This can also range to all of the company's current offerings, or everything currently being sold. Now, many collabs, that is a partnership with a third-party company, may fall under the umbrella of collection. The Harry Potter collab, for example, the four bricks in the collector's box, is of course a collection. It should be noted though that the collector's box may or may not be included when referring to such a collection. That is up to the speaker. Bundle is another term that is often used interchangeably with collection, but this should really only be used when referring to a particular offering from a company for sale, such as the Christmas bundle, which may include a frosty peppermint hair kit, or two frosty pet bars, and two snowy pine tar bars. Menu. Menu is the entire list of products ever released by a company. Everything, both current and discontinued, if it is a part of their history, it is technically a part of their menu. It should not be confused with the website or current offerings. Website is the medium itself, and current offerings is again just all the products currently available. The technical term for that would be seasonal menu. Seasonal menu refers to the part of the overall menu that is currently being sold, including the website and third-party retailers. If it's officially being sold by the company at that moment in time, in any capacity, it is a part of the seasonal menu. Nifty. Our final term of note is nifty, which of course means nifty. And there you have it, mains. I hope this guide helped you to understand the rich and complicated history regarding natural soap and natural products. If you have any additional terms I left out, please leave them in the comments. And if you have any disagreements with my definitions, please share your own in the comments as well. Language is, after all, a complicated thing. Until next time, Frick Nation, stay nifty. Yeah, oh mine!